Welcome back, Augmented Ones. Just Storm here, joined by DJ Brad. What to do? This week for Avatar Training, episode 22 for Augmented Naturally, we're going to be going into some mega preparation. Season 4 for PvP, the Sword and Shield expansion, and whether Pokemon Go will hint towards its release, and the Augmental Idea Avatar customization in full. Stay tuned. Episode 22 starts now. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so for the first thing off, we have with Niantic having the week off, which I think a lot of people actually forgot about because... Yeah, I totally forgot. I mean, they didn't... They still auto-schedule tweets. They still have auto-schedule like, little push notifications and stuff, so mm-hmm. it's not like anything's going on in the game. Yeah, it's been a nice, really quiet, cool. but normal week. Yeah. Which they must have, they've been planning it because they based all the mega information about it. And mm-hmm. it doesn't, the mega stuff, the next mega week doesn't start until the 11th. So, yeah. Hopefully they'll be back up and running. I know that California is kind of on fire right now. Hopefully everyone's safe. <laughs> yeah. So it, we'll see how everything turns out from there, but. I guess it works out that nine to gave everyone the week off because, hey, anything's possible out there right now. Yeah. Not that, I, you know, I don't know if, even if they've got people right. in their... Uh... With all that smoke from the entire state, it's going to black things out, so it's going to be difficult to see either way. Yeah, they're in San Francisco. Well, I, I just I don't even know if they're back in their offices yet. And I think San Fran is... Because uh, I think it was the... Um, the go the 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 bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're 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 deep in the middle of it. Mm. But again, I don't know if they've even been back in their offices, especially not full staffed. Yeah, craziness. Yeah, but yeah, their whole their whole city's orange at the moment. But yeah, a lot of people have been blowing up Niantic and trying to figure out what's going on or why they haven't released any information about Mega Pidgeot, saying, oh, they're just, they're waiting to farm people's money. And yeah. uh, there's, there's no one in the office right now to flip the switch. Okay, people? <laughs> and I also don't think they're like, yes, we got to get that Mega Pidgeot money. Uh-huh. And especially <laughs> if they were trying to work out a new, a new quest line or a new, a new mechanic to work in for Meg, Mega Pidgeot, that way, they don't have yeah. to only do it in raids. Because, obviously, if it's only in raids, then there's only going to be a few people that are able to get them and such. Gotcha. And once they leave the raids, they still have to figure out a way for people to get Mega Candy because they can't raid 100% of the time. So, at the very least, it'll be Friday. Next week will be the Mega Hound Doom. The prep nice. for Mega Houndoom. Yeah, that should be good. good. Uh, with the Mega Houndoom, preparation is 275 million battles. Oh, well. That's gym battles. Doesn't include raid battles oh. and doesn't include GBL battles. Okay, okay. But basically, you got to win that many battles. And I don't think it said with Mega Pokemon, just win that many battles. Just win them in general. That yeah. makes sense. And even though it's not a raid event itself, Niantic does have another three remote raid passes in the shop for everyone. So it's their quarantine gift to everyone if they're not able to get next to a gym and stuff like that. Okay. And it'll unlock Mega Houndoom uh, and Mega Raids, at least. Yeah, I like before it. the end of the I like it. Um, yeah, so it'll probably switch over for Mega Pidgeot probably tomorrow or whenever Niantic gets back in the office. Go fig. Yeah. Yeah, they've probably got... They're, they're probably working remotely, so I'd imagine they can do it from, from the house. 
Well, they can only offer so much, so many features or so much functionality from home because certain right. things require a team's input in addition to they can't give out all the information because that's how leaks happen. Yeah. And also right now, Cresselia is back in raids. So you can use... How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shiny out there, so if people still need it, it's out there. I would be one of those people, but I don't care. <laughs> they tend to throw out these Cresselia or heat brand raids just for like pvp time frames that and a little bit of buffer areas got to throw it in when they can yeah so mega beedrill will help with cresselia raids if people need them otherwise do what you will that makes sense save those raid passes for the mega raids since that's going to be the main way you're able to unlock megas and how you'll be able to evolve them. Just keep in mind that Mega Energy maxes out at 999. Because if Niantic wanted a lot of money, they would have just made it infinite max out. So go figure. Yeah, like why? That seems silly. It's just they're not looking for the money because they would have had it max out. They wouldn't have a max out like they have for Stardust. Right but it's just how they have to figure out the code and that way people aren't abusing things, I guess. I don't know. Or it's so that players don't do all of them in one shot like they do with other legendaries or other raids where they'll get, okay, I got my 999 candy and I don't need to do another Mega Charizard raid for the rest of my gameplay, which means there's a player that won't be showing up at raids but yeah. that's how it is all the time anyway, so. Yeah. All right, we'll go into this for the augmented sync. That way we can okay. specify each one. But during this week as well, bug types are going to be increased, and shiny ladybug. I like it. I like it. So try to find my shiny wormhole, but. Yeah, me neither. This week, then. I can feel it. It's going to be this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So Shiny Ladybug will be released into the wild, which means there will be one less ditto form. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. I was just running What are you going to swap it out for? Uh, they would have to release maybe Ducklet. Or one of the new common Pokemon, something like that. That are, They release a few more common ones. I feel like all of true. them are out there. Because I was just messaging someone earlier today because they were asking, oh, what are the tricks to catching Ditto? Because they hadn't played in who knows how long. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Ditto forms prior to this event were Paris, Hoot Hoot, Ladyba, Spinarak, Hoppip, Remoraid, Whismer, Gulpin, Numel, Bidoof, Venipede, and Fungus. So Lady Bob will be taken out of that. So you have the other 11 that you can possibly find Ditto with. And I think they fixed all the other bugs and the other speculation with that. So it's basically, you just got to catch everything you can with that. If something like a spinner rack or a hoot hoot jump out of the ball after the second and third time, then it's definitely yeah, a they're... Ditto. And yeah, if they're... If they're... Unreasonably hard to catch for uh, <laughs> seemingly no 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 uh, no reason. Then yeah. it's uh yeah. If their CP is not crazy like that, then yeah, break out the better balls and good luck at that and barrier too. Yeah. So the other thing going on is they just decreased the level for Pokestop scanning. Prior to this, it was yes. released for level 40 players and a few others. And now it's rolled out for level 20 trainers with decent phones. <laughs> the exact <laughs> information is iOS phones, iPhone 6S, and newer running iOS 11 Plus. 
and Android phones running Android 7.0 plus and they got to figure out from the Google Play Store whether their phones are actually eligible or not. Yeah. So the way that you're going to do it, you can go to the Niantic article that will be listed in the description, or you can try and listen to our loose information here. Basically, you're going to click on a Pokestop, and in the top right corner where it says the description on there, you can click on the arrow. That arrow brings up a full-size picture of it, you then hit the information, the question mark in the top right area. And from that, it'll allow you to start scanning the object within the frame. So basically they're looking for, if it's something like a monument or a plaque, they wanna see 360 degrees around that object. That way they can fully see that it's not just a picture on a wall, that that item is actually physically in that location. That way it's not just like a, a help desk bulletin board that shows a picture here that you were able to zoom in and make it look like it was actually the picture of the location. And it also yeah. helps Niantic and their AR Alliance for the Alliance. That they're, oh, right. Make sure that their map, their AR map is actually enabled in the area and they can fully flesh things out. This will also let Niantic introduce other features, like they may, they may start doing a Pokemon hidden behind the object, like they have the reality blending features. Yeah, that, so, that little video they previewed with uh, Pikachu running around in the pot and stuff. Yeah, yeah cool. you can... Reality blending is live for some of the higher devices. So if you go into the okay. snap mode, and then you go and select the Pokemon, bring out the Pokemon, and then you go behind something. It may disappear behind a bench or a tree, stuff along those lines, depending okay. on where it gets laid down. Granted, with any AR stuff, it's not all set in stone, so it's a little tricky, and it'll still possibly fly around in some weird angle. Yeah. But it That's still has... Clipping. It still has a lot of good potential for getting some nice air shots, so... Yeah. Hmm. 